Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us uh, for So You Want to Study Abroad, an introduction to CIS Abroad. My name is Kent Moore, and I'm joined here by my colleague, Jess Lizenby. Hi. And today we're going to uh, give you an introduction to study abroad and all the opportunities available through CIS Abroad. So a couple of housekeeping items before we get started. Um, there are, throughout the presentation, there will be um, these QR codes in the corner. Um, so that you can access the CIS Abroad website at any point. Um, just point your phone at the screen and you'll be able to um, go to our website and register for more information. Um, you can also do so via this bit.ly link. Um, also, you're going to see some links throughout the presentation. We'll make these slides available to you so that you can click on any of those links and explore different things that interest you. Um, yeah, and I think that's everything. Um, I'm going to kick it over to Jess to talk about what we're going to cover today. Awesome. Thanks, Kent. Uh, so today, for the next probably 30 minutes or so, we're going to lay out the basics of starting the study abroad process. So we're going to tell you more about who we are, what our program options are, some of our new virtual options, how to fund your program, and also how to, how to start the process. Next slide. Okay, so before jumping into things, we want to first address that, address the reality that right now is a really uncertain time in the world and talk a little bit about where study abroad fits in with all of that. First of all, you should know that every single member of the team at CIS Abroad has had life-changing international experiences and we're very passionate about sharing this sense of discovery that education abroad offers with students like you all across the country. The benefits that study abroad experiences provide, think increased self-confidence, cross-cultural competencies, higher GPA and graduation rates. There are actually even some studies that suggest that doing things like study abroad leads to higher paying jobs after college. We believe that all of this has become even more important in the midst of a global pandemic. But we can't ignore the fact that COVID-19 has changed a lot about our day-to-day -day lives. And we fully recognize that the world's a different place nowadays. Uh, and there are some legitimate concerns with overseas travel right now. At CIS Abroad, we're taking all this very seriously and working hard to ensure the health and safety of all of our participants. What you see here is some information about our approach to a study abroad in this, this new reality that we're in. Our team has developed a three-step process for opening study abroad programs safely, and with that process, we've taken a very close look at all of the programs we offer and evaluated each of them for the number of coronavirus cases in that country, the state of local health care, the difficulty of obtaining a visa, and other considerations. You can find the programs that we're running uh, for upcoming terms on our website, but rest assured that we are not offering programs in locations where we don't think students will be absolutely safe. To find more information about our risk management plan for programs uh, that we do intend to offer in upcoming terms, visit our website and look for the COVID-19 plan tab on each program page. And then lastly, one of the most common questions we're getting right now is about refunds. Naturally, students want to make sure they understand what refunds are like if something goes wrong and the program is suspended or if they aren't able to travel. That's why uh, we have a clear refund policy, which is accessible via this link and on our website, so you can have all the facts as you make your plans. We're also offering program insurance so that you can protect your investment if you aren't able, if you aren't able to travel. And with that, I will turn it over to Jess to introduce CIS Abroad. Thanks, Kent. It's really important to go over some of that information here in the very beginning because it, it really is important, you know, when you're trying to plan your, your future trip abroad. Mm -hmm. uh, so for us, why, why CS Abroad? So this year, we've celebrated our 20th anniversary. Woohoo! So for Woo. 20 years, we've been providing transformative international experiences for students just like you. Next slide. So first, let's talk about what types of programs that we offer. So we offer semester and quarterly friendly programs. We have January programs and summer. Uh, we do also have TEFL programs, virtual programs, and intern programs in 22 countries. Next slide. And so at CS Abroad, we really strive on these, these values here and, and what we provide. And so for value, you know, CS Abroad programs include everything you need, and that's from tuition, housing, excursions, and more. 
We also want to help help you protect your investment and have developed refund, withdrawal, and insurance options to help you, your family, and your home university do just that. Also, before and after, before, during, and after, you'll be supported by a CS Abroad staff member. So we've worked really carefully with each location overseas to mitigate risk from choosing our housing options to understanding country and city specific quarantine and testing regulations. We want you to have the most up-to-date information so you can make informed decisions about where you go and what you do. We're also really passionate about culture. So you'll see where the locals eat, where they shop, where they hang out, and you'll learn to understand the culture in your host country. Our cultural activities are focused on even more of the local environment and cultural opportunities. We help you get to know the place you're in and learn how to navigate a new environment like a pro. For academics, we have hundreds of options for classes that can count toward your degree. We've also carefully chosen our list of programs to offer a variety of courses with as much flexibility and delivery method as possible. We know flexibility in delivery, so in-class, hybrid, online, is really important to allow for the completion of your coursework in this changing environment. Next slide. Thanks, Jess. Yeah, so, so why study abroad with CIS? Um, number one for me is affordability. When I was a student, finding an affordable program was huge, and I know it's important for students out there as well. We really believe that study abroad is for everyone, and we, worked, uh, we work hard to keep our program fees low. Also, as I mentioned earlier, we have uh, program protection insurance so that you can make sure you get the biggest refund possible if for whatever reason you aren't able to participate in your program. Uh, reason number two is support. All of our programs offer, I think, the perfect mix of support and independence. So throughout the study abroad journey, you'll have a dedicated CIS abroad staff member helping you along the way, whether it's your program coordinator during the application process when you're still here in the US, or uh, your site director who will be there to meet you at the airport when you arrive on site. That site director is there to offer as much support as you need during your time abroad, but also allows for plenty of independence as well. Um, also, as Jess mentioned, cultural immersion is really important. It's really the foundation of our programs. And we build in all sorts of opportunities to connect with your host culture, including day trips, overnight excursions, and different types of cultural encounters like a K-pop dance class in Korea or cooking classes in Spain. And on the left-hand side here, um, you'll also see some of our awards from goabroad.com, gooverseas.com, and others that we're just really proud of and want to brag a little bit. Okay, so what can I do abroad and when and where? Um, so we want to talk to you a little bit about uh, different programs that we offer uh, and where they're located. CIS Abroad offers 120 programs in 22 countries around the world that can accommodate 88 different majors. That's a lot of opportunities and we can't talk about all of them here, uh, but what we want to do is give you a snapshot of what's available on different continents. And Jeff is going to kick it off by introducing our programs in Europe. Awesome. So, so in Europe, we offer 60 programs in eight countries. Uh, for example, we have programs at two different universities in London that give you both uh, pretty different experiences of London. In Barcelona, you can participate in a Barcelona bucket list, which allows you to immerse yourself into the culture with fun activities that are scattered throughout the entire city. I also want to take a quick second to highlight one of our most popular programs in Europe, which is our semester program in Florence, Italy. On this program, you'll study at the Florence University of Arts, which provides a massive variety of courses from art and design to communications, business, natural and social sciences. You also have the option to join a one week traveling course that brings you an immersive cultural introduction to Italy. Highly recommend. Absolutely. Next slide. Uh, for Asia, Africa, and the Pacific, we have around 40 different programs from summer to full semester programs and some great internship options as well. They're based in really exciting places like Tokyo, Japan, and Sydney, Australia, as well as Cape Town, South Africa, which is the home of the University of Cape Town, which is actually the number one university in all of Africa. Students also love our program at Bond University on the Gold Coast of Australia just a few minutes away from a series of really nice beaches and not too far away from the Great Barrier Reef. You can do some snorkeling as a student. 
But my personal favorite in this region is our programming in Thailand. I studied here as a student and I have to say it was absolutely life-changing. What's great about our programs here is that they're based at Mahidan University, just outside of Bangkok, which is the top university in the country. It has this really green, super modern campus where students uh, can study business, art, communications, engineering, humanities, psychology, just to name a few. From Bangkok, students can participate in excursions to Chiang Mai, which is in the north of the country, and an elephant sanctuary, uh, which is pictured here, um, but also visit Cambodia and the temples of Angkor Wat, and also Ko Chang, which is a beautiful island in the south. And best of all, our programs here are amongst the most affordable that we offer anywhere in the world. Yeah, I hear a lot from our students that, especially with our Thailand program, that it's just a beautiful country as well as just really affordable to eat there. I know that you can get meals for, you know, around $2 or less. Um, so, yeah, and really good food, real traditional Thai food. So <laughs> All right, moving along here. So in Central and South America, we have 18 programs in five countries. I should also mention Hawaii, which is an option that you can choose. Um, I do want to highlight a couple of programs here that may interest you. So if you're weary of a passport and visa processes, uh, maybe consider our Semester in Hawaii program. You don't need a passport to go to Hawaii and no visa is needed. And uh, our program in Hawaii, your classroom is literally on the beach. Um, really, it's on the beach, it's beautiful. She's not kidding, it's on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in Buenos Aires, you'll have the opportunity to visit uh, the Iguazu Falls, and you can also take traditional tango class, uh, tango dance lessons, not classes, dance class, you know what I'm saying. Another one of our popular programs and one of our most affordable programs is our program in Costa Rica. Here, you'll study alongside locals and other international students at Universidad Veritas in San Jose. It's one of the best private colleges in Central America. And this program is great for students who are looking for courses in art, design, architecture, cultural studies, environmental studies, health, and political science. Some of the excursions and activities for this program includes visiting the Monteverde Cloud Forest Reserve, the Aren Arenal Volcano, and touring a chocolate factory where you and your peers get to make your very own Costa Rican chocolate. So cool. Okay, changing gears now from uh, locations to uh, particular program types, we wanna talk a little bit about uh, experiential learning programs. So in addition to, these are in addition to those traditional study abroad programs where you're taking classes in another country. Um, these are the kinds of programs where you're actually getting your hands dirty and gaining practical experience abroad. And I would say the largest kind of category of experiential learning program is uh, intern abroad. Um, these involve you having an internship placement with an organization in one of around 15 countries, typically working anywhere from 20 to 35 hours a week. The best part is that we match each student with a host organization based on their professional interests and goals, so you get a customized internship experience. On our website, you can select from 21 career-focused fields and check out tons of placement examples so you can see what, uh, what other students have done in the past. The next program type is TEFL. Uh, this might be new to some of you, but it's teaching English as a foreign language. Um, these programs combine in-person learning and an online TEFL certificate course. They put you in a real classroom so you can gain practical teaching experience. Um, the programs are perfect for education majors uh, or, or anyone really just looking to try something a little bit different or to try out the idea of living and working in another country. They're also quite affordable and offered in some very cool locations. And then lastly uh, is our service learning programs. And what I love about these is that students on these programs become part of their host community and also work alongside locals to contribute to an ongoing project that addresses a societal need in that location, which has been identified by the host community. Um, they're also being led through cr critical reflections um, of what they're learning along the way. Anyone who's ever been interested in volunteering should take a look at these. I think they offer a much more kind of holistic approach to a, a service experience. So what can you do virtually, AKA, what can I do in my pajamas? 
I also want to point out if if anyone has any questions um, as we as we move along here, if you haven't already um, found the question box, uh, please feel free to type in your questions. We'll have a little bit of time at the end here to answer a couple. Um, so any questions that you have so far, feel free to go ahead and put those in the question box. So for virtual programs, as we all know, the future of remote work is here, which is why we've added some pretty awesome virtual programs to our portfolio. This summer, we saw a major increase in student interest in virtual internships. Here at CIS Abroad, we have two program models for virtual internships, which are a virtual global internship and our virtual accelerated internships. And I kind of want to break those down a little bit so that you have a better understanding of, of why they're different. So at a lower price point, our virtual accelerated internships pack all the work value of a virtual global internship into a sweet four-week bite. So it's, it's the duration is smaller. You'll work 15 to 30 hours per week in a placement that's customized just for you. You'll have access to our Building Yourself Brand module and a one-on-one -on -one career coaching session. If you are looking for something a little more robust, uh, maybe consider our virtual global internship program. And this is a two six week, so it's a six week session um, with the option of two six week sessions available to choose per term. Uh, longer duration and additional cultural curriculum allows you to forge a deeper connection with your host country, so you'll be even more prepared to visit in person someday. At the end of these virtual global internships, you'll walk away having earned a digital credential that you can put on your LinkedIn profile, uh, which is working across cultures. You also have the option to earn three credits for your internship. If you wanna know more about these virtual internships, feel free to check out the sample virtual internship placements and online courses uh, that's available on our website at csabroad.com. And you can click these links here um, with virtual internships uh, you can click that and it'll take you to our program. Uh, and just really quickly with our virtual study programs, uh, you can take one or a full semester of courses online at a host university abroad. Next slide. Nice. Yeah, I think, um, you know, virtual study abroad almost sounded like a joke, uh, like early in the <laughs> pandemic, but now I think students are taking it really seriously and, and uh, having some wonderful experiences virtually. Um, so changing gears again, we want to talk about academics. Uh, so what's available in my field, your field being your, you know, your major or your minor. So we understand that um, you're most likely looking for academic credit that will count toward your graduation for your home university. Um, luckily, our programs are not only culturally immersive, but also academically as well. Um, so what do academics look like at CIS? Um, one of the big things is that we have a wide variety of host universities. So we're talking big universities like maybe one I mentioned before, the University of Cape Town, all the way to a small private university like the one that Jess mentioned in Costa Rica. Um, and typically on these programs, you're taking classes with local students. So you're immersed academically and culturally at the same time. And we can accommodate any academic calendar, whether you're on a semester, a quarter, or a trimester schedule. And as I mentioned earlier, for internships, you can participate in um, an internship experience in one of 21 different fields. So you might be asking, you know, how do I locate which program is the right fit for me? And luckily we have a really robust search tool on our website. You can see screenshots on the right. Um, basically you go to our website, cisabroad.com, select find a program, and then scroll down to find by academic major, and then click the, uh, the field that cl most closely matches uh, your field or your major. And then you can uh, sort by over 100 academic areas and really dial in on what program is gonna be the best fit for you. It's a really powerful tool and I highly recommend checking that out. Yeah, I second that. Our, our website is going to be your absolute best friend uh, once you start you know, your process and trying to figure out what program is the best fit for you. Uh, but now I wanna take a quick moment to talk about probably one of the biggest concerns that our students face is how can I fund my program? Next slide. So first, let's talk about what's included in the CS Abroad program fees. Um, on this slide here, you can see everything that we, we cover. 
And what's really nice about these is that they include virtually everything you need for your time abroad with just two exceptions, which are your flight and meals on site. Although some programs, like those with homestays, may include some meals. You can check our program pages for more info. Next slide. All right, so quick personal story for me. My biggest concern was financial aid. I had no idea how I was going to fund my program abroad, uh, but fortunately I had nice resources like the ones that CS Abroad provides and a really great study abroad office who made it happen for me. Um, so with that being said, I am a testament of, of knowing that you can really go abroad uh, with the help of you know, financial aid, and, and other scholarships and grants. So for financial aid, uh, state and federal financial aid from your home institution can often be applied to the cost associated with studying or interning abroad. Uh, these, uh, these federal financial aids, uh, they include your Stafford loans, Parent PLUS loans, Pell Grants, direct loans, those kind of things. Um, CS Abroad, we also have scholarships and grant opportunities for all of our applicants. And we also provide occasional promo codes throughout the year. Be sure to check out this video that walks you through the process of using financial aid for study abroad and check out our website for our full list of scholarships, grants, and promo codes. Also, just a, a fun tip, uh, check, your, check with your study abroad office on your campus to see if your university is an affiliate partner with us. Uh, if so, you can receive $250 off your semester program or $100 off of a short-term program. Next. Nice, good tip. Uh, so what's the process like? Uh, now that you know what types of experiences are available to you and how to fund them, let's talk about how to make it all happen. Um, so we want to break it down really simply. Basically, from this point in time, there are three big steps you need to think about now. The first is just doing uh, a bit of research. So checking our website at csabroad.com for the programs uh, that interest you, maybe using the, um, the Find a Program tool that we mentioned earlier. And then, with a few programs in mind that might be a good fit, talking with your study abroad office at your school. So just make a quick appointment and speak with a study abroad advisor. Then you can begin your application. Typically, you'll complete two applications for study abroad, one with your school and one with CIS abroad. To get started applying to study abroad, you can do a lot in a very short amount of time, even right now after um, this presentation. Um, just look for this button, the Apply Now button on CISabroad.com in the top right corner. Um, and then following you know, your initial application, the more time-intensive part of the process comes later when you need to get courses approved, just like on your home campus. Uh, and we have program advisors who can talk you through every step of the way um, once you submit your application. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more guidance on every step of the application process, we have this great series called How It Works. Um, and they're all linked here. And they're also all available on our YouTube channel. I would highly recommend checking this out, uh, not only for these How It Work videos, at works videos, um, but also for other great content and just a closer look at all of our programs. So visit youtube.com slash CIS abroad for that. Yeah, and bouncing off what Ken said for our YouTube channel, um, if you are curious to know what some of our housing looks like on certain campuses, whether or not that's with a homestay or uh, campus dorms or apartments, uh, we do have those videos as well on our YouTube, as well as some really good student stories. So definitely check that out. So if you've made it this far, congratulations. You're one step closer to finding the best program for you. Uh, I'm personally looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, you can text CIS Abroad to 877-617-9090 and a real advisor, not a robot, will be available to answer any questions you have. You can also email us at info at csabroad.com or just simply give us a call. So with all of that being said, I do believe we have a little bit of time for some questions. Let's see, so just scrolling through here. If we don't get to your question, don't worry. Uh, 
We're going to follow up at the end of this presentation with these slides so that you can access all of the links um, as well as answers to those questions that we may not get to. Uh, so question one here says, I am interested in going abroad this spring. When should I apply? It's a really great question. So you want to definitely apply before any deadlines. So for example, for spring programs for CS Abroad, our deadlines are typically, they start uh, in October, but again, you want to check the program uh, deadlines on the program page, but also keep in mind that you'll have to apply within the deadlines at your institution as well. Um, so my advice is to start now. Let's see, so another question says, can me and my friend go on the same program? Kent, do you want to tackle that one? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the answer is yes, definitely. We love uh, when students travel together. Um, we can kind of accommodate this in a couple different ways. One is that we actually have a promo code um, for students who, who want to participate in the same program together. It's called Bring a Friend. Um, it's literally just a promo code that you type in when you apply. Um, and you can save a little money off of your, uh, your program fee with that. Um, we can also accommodate roommate requests um, as best we can and uh, make sure you're all lined up to go on the same program together. So absolutely feel free to um, talk about you know, the program that you're interested in with your friend or roommate. Awesome. Thanks, Kent. So I guess this brings us to time. Again, if we didn't get to your questions, no worries. We will get them. Uh, we'll get responses to you. Uh, if you're again, thank you so much for for joining us for this presentation. Uh, we hope that you found this really informative and helpful, and we really look forward to helping you find your best program in the near future. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Bye.